Another day, another story. The germ theory of disease is a scientific concept that revolutionized our understanding of how diseases spread and led to significant advancements in public health. The full story of the germ theory involves the contributions of several key figures over several centuries. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Antony van Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723, often considered the father of microbiology, Leeuwenhoek was a Dutch scientist who, in the 17th century, developed a microscope that allowed him to observe microorganisms for the first time. He documented his observations of animalcules in various substances, including water and dental plaque. Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895, a French chemist and microbiologist, Pasteur is widely regarded as one of the founders of the germ theory. In the mid-19th century, he conducted experiments that disproved the theory of spontaneous generation and demonstrated that microorganisms were responsible for fermentation. His work laid the foundation for understanding the role of microorganisms in disease. Robert Koch, 1843-1910, a German physician and microbiologist, Koch made significant contributions to the germ theory by establishing a set of postulates to identify the specific microbes responsible for particular diseases. He applied these postulates to identify the bacteria causing anthrax and tuberculosis. Koch's work provided a systematic approach to linking specific pathogens to specific diseases. Joseph Lister, 1827-1912, Lister, a British surgeon, recognized the implications of the germ theory for surgery and healthcare. He introduced antiseptic techniques, such as using carbolic acid to disinfect surgical instruments and clean wounds. Lister's innovations significantly reduced postoperative infections and mortality rates. Paul Farmer, 1959 present, jumping ahead to more recent times. Paul Farmer is a physician and anthropologist who has played a key role in the modern understanding and application of the germ theory, particularly in the context of infectious diseases in developing countries. Farmer co-founded Partners in Health, an organization focused on providing health care to impoverished communities. The germ theory of disease is the currently accepted scientific theory for many diseases. It states that microorganisms known as pathogens or germs can cause disease. These small organisms, too small to be seen without magnification, invade humans, other animals, and other living hosts. Their growth and reproduction within their hosts can cause disease. Germ refers to not just a bacterium but to any type of microorganism, such as protists or fungi, or even non-living pathogens that can cause disease, such as viruses, prions or viroids. Diseases caused by pathogens are called infectious diseases. Even when a pathogen is the principal cause of a disease, environmental and hereditary factors often influence the severity of the disease, and whether a potential host individual becomes infected when exposed to the pathogen. Pathogens are disease-carrying agents that can pass from one individual to another, both in humans and animals. Infectious diseases are caused by biological agents such as pathogenic microorganisms, viruses, bacteria, and fungi, as well as parasites. Miasma theory. The miasma theory was the predominant theory of disease transmission before the germ theory took hold towards the end of the 19th century. It is no longer accepted as a correct explanation for disease by the scientific community. It held that diseases such as cholera, chlamydia infection, or the Black Death were caused by a miasma, mu alpha sigma mu alpha, ancient Greek, pollution, a noxious form of bad air emanating from rotting organic matter. Miasma was considered to be a poisonous vapor or mist filled with particles from decomposed matter, miasmata, that was identifiable by its foul smell. The theory posited that diseases were the product of environmental factors such as contaminated water, foul air, and poor hygienic conditions. Such infections, according to the theory, were not passed between individuals but would affect those within a locale that gave rise to such vapors. Development Ancient India Ancient Indian rishis such as Kanva described tiny creatures called krimi and their harmful effects in the Atharvaveda. Greece and Rome In antiquity, the Greek historian Thucydides, circa 460, 
circa 400 BC, was the first person to write, in his account of the plague of Athens, that diseases could spread from an infected person to others. The Middle Ages A basic form of contagion theory dates back to Messin in the medieval Islamic world, where it was proposed by Persian physician Ibn Sina, known as Avicenna in Europe, in the Canon of Medicine, 1025, which later became the most authoritative medical textbook in Europe up until the 16th century. In Book 4 of the al Qanun, Ibn Sina discussed epidemics, outlining the classical miasma theory and attempting to blend it with his own early contagion theory. He mentioned that people can transmit disease to others by breath, noted contagion with tuberculosis, and discussed the transmission of disease through water and dirt. The Early Modern Period In 1668, Italian physician Francesco Redi published experimental evidence rejecting spontaneous generation, the theory that living creatures arise from non-living matter. He observed that maggots only arose from rotting meat that was uncovered. When meat was left in jars covered by gauze, the maggots would instead appear on the gauze's surface, later understood as rotting meat smell passing through the mesh to attract flies that laid eggs. 19th and 20th centuries Agostino Vasi, Italy During the early 19th century, driven by economic concerns over collapsing silk production, Italian entomologist Agostino Vasi researched a silkworm disease known as muscadine, type of white bonbon, in French in calcinacchio, rubble, or mal del segno, bad sign, in Italian, due to the disease causing white fungal spots along the caterpillar. From 1835 to 1836, Vasi published his findings that fungal spores transmitted the disease between individuals. In recommending the rapid removal of diseased caterpillars and disinfection of their surfaces, Vasi outlined methods used in modern preventative healthcare. Italian naturalist Giuseppe Gabriel Balsamo Crivelli named the causative fungal species after Vasi, currently classified as Boveria Barsiana. Louis Daniel Bopatui, France. In 1838 French specialist in tropical medicine Louis-Daniel Beaupertuis pioneered using microscopy in relation to diseases and independently developed a theory that all infectious diseases were due to parasitic infection with animalcules, microorganisms. With the help of his friend Emmedal de Reseville, he presented his theory in a formal presentation before the French Academy of Sciences in Paris. By 1853, he was convinced that malaria and yellow fever were spread by mosquitoes. He even identified the particular group of mosquitoes that transmit yellow fever as the domestic species of striped-legged mosquito, which can be recognized as Aedes aegypti, the actual vector. He published his theory in 1854 in the Gazeta Official de Cumana, official Gazette of Cumana. His reports were assessed by an official commission, which discarded his mosquito theory. These scientists, among others, collectively shaped the development of the germ theory of disease. The concept transformed medicine, leading to improved hygiene practices, the development of vaccines, and the discovery of antibiotics, all of which have had a profound impact on public health and our ability to combat infectious diseases. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.